<laughs> hello there i didn't see y'all there in my fridge but hey this is me real natural and raw just like the food i love to eat um unfortunately i don't have any food in my refrigerator because i went out of town last weekend and this week i haven't really been eating so let's go grocery shopping make a u-turn then your destination will be on the right Your destination is on the right. Okay, so one of the most important things I love to do when I'm going grocery shopping, regardless of where I'm going grocery shopping, is using my reusable bags. It's very sustainable, and I have produce bags inside for the produce with like my leafy greens. Let's go inside Oakwood University's Farmer's Market. This is my first time at the farmer's market, so I'm super excited to take you all with me. First thing I saw outside was their selection of herbs, and yes, they're only $1, so I had to get some of those. Inside, they have a setup that's actually open Sunday through Friday. They are Seventh-day Adventist. It's a religious school, so they're closed on Saturdays, but look at this produce, y'all. Like, look at the produce. Great great beautiful selection from either their farms or locally sourced Alabama farms. Um, I was just feeling the avocado to make sure it was right. They had sweet potatoes, like they had some healthy sweet potatoes. Sea moss, they had aloe leaves for 79 cents a pound. Like 79 cents a pound, that is great. If you look here, they had eggs, even the dairy products, leafy greens, always have to get a lemon, keep that they had this really cool room that had seasonings, lentils, flour, nuts, candy that you can get like by the ounce, by the pound. I thought that was so cool. My cart was full. Oh, we're back! And by we, I mean me and my fresh food. It's just me. <laughs> but... I'm excited to show you all the goodies that I picked up from the store. So, went to this black farmer's market um, at an HBCU called Oak Oakwood University. And so they have a farmer's market and the farmer's market is actually every day, but well, because they have a garden and produce that they grow themselves. So they locally sourced from Alabama farms, but they had some vendors outside that they only have on Friday. And so went today on Friday just to get that full experience. First thing I saw when I walked in were these herbs. Yes, 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 these herbs. And so I actually started growing some from seeds and they just weren't thriving. And these were only $1. I'm talking one zero zero, no tax right here and this bag was perfect for them. I actually am reusing this bag. I purchased from this brand called Dome Piece. They make handmade hair accessories for men and women of all different head shapes and hair textures. And one thing I love about them is that they have silk linings inside um, some of their pieces and so this is actually the bag that the products came in and I'm able to reuse it for things like going to the farmer's market and so I'm gonna dump that outside but let's get into these herbs okay I got cilantro basil and oregano um, no, I got, I'm sorry cilantro chives and oregano um, just to get something started and I have some pots that I'm going to put them in. So first thing I purchased, okay. And so in the farmer's market, I only spent at the farmer's market $30, $30, three zero. Bell pepper, onion, Let's see, avocado because 
Um, this weekend, my friend put some smoked salmon on some eggs that we had for breakfast. And so I really wanna make some avocado toast with a fried egg and top it off with some smoked salmon. Really excited to get into that. Um, I did get a sweet potato. The sweet potatoes there were large and in charge. Big boy, but I was a little bit, you know, scared to get multiple because this one weighed like over almost two pounds. And I don't need to have a bunch of potatoes sitting in my house. I did get a head of kale greens and y'all know I love my produce bags. You're able to get five of these reusable, washable produce bags from TJ Maxx or Amazon. They're great. They come in different sizes and they're also different uh, color coordinated. And so I love using these produce bags. I also got a mango because I love fresh fruit. Um, lemon, pretty much a staple. Pineapple. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Okay, I got some mini, mini potatoes. Those are always good in the air fryer. And outside of the vendor, this was $3. And so I make charcuterie boards for fun and I'm always experimenting with different things like different cheeses, crackers, but I'm trying to find different preserves for the sweet side of the board. And so this is a strawberry habanero. So it's spicy and sweet because I know a lot of my friends, are, they have a spicy, you know, kick in their mouth that they love to hit. I'm not so into that, but we're going to see how this pairs well with some cheese and crackers. Homemade from this guy named Rob Lucas out here. Um, and so that's everything that I purchased from the farmer's market inside of the actual store. I did, oh no, I did get some sweet treats from this vendor outside called Crumb Bites Delights, but they like tumbled over in my car. And um, I got a cinnamon roll and a strawberry cupcake. Um, they're vegan and I plan on eating them this weekend, not all at once, but they're vegan, but the strawberry is, I'm not doing any justice, it fell over and melted a little bit on my drive home. I live about 20 minutes away from the farmer's market. Okay, and so also I use reusable bags. Best thing popping in these streets. I know they used to give them away or they do give them away, you know, at companies or whatever take them bags use them bags save the planet just wash them like you wash your clothes wash your sheets and wash your towels every week you should be washing your reusable bags every week okay don't want to sound like somebody's mama but it saves money and you know if you live in a state like california which is where you know i plan to live one day when it costs for to use bags just save money by bringing your own bags Okay, so this is everything that I got from the uh, farmer's market from Publix. I got strawberries. They had shrimp. Got a pound of shrimp because I'm going to make this pasta, pesto pasta this week. I'm excited about. I got a little baby box of spinach, organic of course, because you know, gotta stay on the organic theme. I did get a can of albacore tuna, or is it albacore, albacore tuna, um, because I'm going to make some tuna stuffed peppers this week as well. I got some bananas zucchini these are going to be the noodles for my pasta um and i also got some peppers and so that's everything that i purchased for this week um a few of the other ingredients that i'll be using for foods are actually already staples in my home and as in those ingredients are kind of like a condiment or such, not a fresh food, but this is all the fresh food that I bought that will get me through the week. I have like two to three meals, breakfast, like lunch and dinner, and 
I'm excited. And so if you stay tuned, come back, there'll be another episode there. I will show you the meals I will cook for the week. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button.